How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host Jesse Morgan and today we're going to be doing a unboxing video. Uh, now this shop should be pretty familiar to you if you watch YX Hymns videos uh, because this unboxing comes from Armageddon, Armageddon Record Shop. Uh, found their Discogs store online and I uh, went through some of the stuff they had and they seemed to have a bunch of stuff that I wanted and uh, yeah this is kind of like leftover from the the, uh, the YouTube money that uh, you guys have allowed me to be able to acquire uh, through subscribing and liking and sharing my videos around so uh, I appreciate being able to you know fund the uh, the package here that you've able that you've uh, allowed me to be able to get uh, this goes out to you guys because I know you guys love seeing black metal and uh, allows me to show off some stuff that uh, you guys are interested in. So here's to you guys. Uh, package from Armageddon. I already opened it up so that uh, we don't have to waste time cutting it open. But uh, yeah, so first of all, so some things that uh, you are very probably uh, familiar with. And that is Immortal. This is their third album, Battles in the North. Good stuff. Uh, just Immortal doing Immortal. Great black metal riffs. Great vocals. Very grim and frostbitten uh, guitar work. Pummeling drums. Uh, this is a really good album, I think. It's probably one of their better ones. Um, glad to have it in my collection. But yeah, this is Immortal with their third album, Battles in the North. Alright. Next one is more Immortal. This is the fourth album, Blizzard Beasts. Now, I believe this is probably their their best album in my opinion has one of the best songs I've ever heard in black metal that being Mountains of Might uh, this whole album is really really good though lots of great classic immortal tracks on there if you haven't heard anything by immortal yet for whatever reason definitely give Blizzard Beasts a shot uh, it's got the self titled track Blizzard Beasts it's got Mountains of Might Witcher of the Ages uh, battlefields really cool stuff glad to have it check out the fourth album Blizzard Beast by Immortal and the last album that I needed in my Immortal collection this is Damned in Black this is the sixth album I already have at the heart of winter that came before this um, this one has some songs that are good, some songs that are not so good. Uh, this album is kind of a toss-up. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, it really depends on what your flavor of black metal is, I guess. Uh, I enjoy it. It does have some pretty decent songs on here, though. Um... Wrath from Above is pretty good. The Darkness That Embraced Me is good. Damned in Black, the track itself is good. Um, even even Against the Tide and Triumph are pretty good. Like, you, it's, it's, it's all preference, I guess. I, I really like Immortal, so I'm kind of biased. Everything they do is really, really good, in my opinion. Uh, kind of their earlier to mid Immortal, some of the better stuff. The later stuff, it's kind of up in the air. I know some people prefer um, Holocaust over the post um, Blizzard Beast albums. I know a lot of people like to say that At the Heart of Winter is the best album. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, it depends. Let me know what your favorite Immortal album is. Uh, I'm probably not this one this one's damned in black like I said the sixth one but uh, this was the last one I needed in my collection so now I have all of the immortal albums uh, I got the other ones in there you can probably see them in a 
previous update or two. Um, but yeah, Immortal is one of my favorite black metal bands. It would probably be in my top ten. Um, if you're not familiar with them, definitely check them out. And definitely check out uh, Blizzard Beasts. And check out the song Mountains of Might. Really, really good stuff. Alright, the next releases are different. Uh, I just wanted to get the Immortal out of the way since it's the most well-known. Uh, the next one I got is this promo copy of Sargeist's first album, Satanic Black Devotion. Uh, it's black metal from Finland, if you don't know. Uh, it's the first album. Uh, Sargeist has four albums in total besides this one. Um, the funny thing is, on the back here, I don't know if you can read that or not. But what it says is, for, prom pr for promotional use only, attempt to sell and the razor will greet your flesh. So, <laughs> Who whoever sold this to the Armageddon shop, uh, apparently you need to kill yourself for selling a promotional copy, according to Sargeist. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, but this has some really, really good songs on it. Uh, Nick will tell you from Motley Crue Forever 1, uh, if you don't like black fucking murder, there's something wrong with you. Uh, but yeah, Frowning Existing is good. Satanic Black Devotion, the, the self-titled track itself. Panzer God's great. Um, Returning to Misery and Comfort's great. Uh, overall, really glad to have this album. And it's kind of neat that it's the promotional version that, uh, you know, civilians aren't supposed to have. This is only for, I think, promotional use for labels and whatnot. So it's kind of cool, pretty rare. Uh, I'll open it up and show you what the CD itself looks like. It's nothing too special, but you'll probably want to see it since it's not going to be shown too much, I don't think. Ooh, almost dropped it. That would have been fun. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what the disc looks like. I don't think it's too different from any of the jewel-cased ones. Um, so, but at least you had a look at it to see what it does... Uh, look like if it's different from anything else. I uh, really like Sargeist. I'm definitely eventually going to get the rest of Sargeist's collection. Uh, the only thing else besides this I have is the Tyranny Returns kind of demo album. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the first legit album. Satanic Black Devotion. Alright. Next album here is the second uh album by Zaster and it's the funeral of being interesting artwork I like the red logo uh, if you know Zaster uh, you know that they're a you know depressive suicidal black metal uh, project uh, one-man band uh, Zaster currently has eight albums in total for the black metal stuff uh, Malefic kind of did a side project called Nocturnal Poisoning, which is the same name as the first album for a bit, because uh, like acoustic stuff, I think, um, and then changed the name of Nocturnal Poisoning back to Zaster, but it's not black metal anymore, so um, it's alright, I'm probably not going to get those, I'm probably just going to stick with the, the black metal related releases that he has. Um, and then apparently they've re or they he malefic has really recently released a sigils made of flesh and trees demo or something like that but it's the track that's off of this i don't know if you can see it or not probably not and i apologize for all the glare but it is on there as one of the tracks um so i think it might have been demo versions of songs from this album maybe could be wrong let me know in the comments section what's up with that but that's what i assume it is um, but yeah, if you're into black metal and you want to check out a different kind of version, uh, Depressive Suicidal Black Metal is kind of slower and the vocals are a little bit more wretched and kind of like squawky, I guess. Um, but check out Zaster. Uh, this is their second album, Funeral of Being. Alright, and the last one here is something that uh, I haven't shown before. And not too many really have. I think the only other person I've heard talk about these guys is Ryan from The Disciple of Sound. Uh, but this is Vreed um, with their fourth album, which I don't even know if I can pronounce this, Milorg? I think it's called Milorg. 
And they're a melodic black metal band from Norway. Uh, they are kind of post-Windier, after whatever happened to Windier, like some of the guys formed this band. Uh, so if you like Windier and you're wanting to see what some of the members did, check out Vreed. Uh, Vreed means wrath in uh, Norwegian, I believe. Uh, they also have three other albums. Uh, after this one, so I think they got around seven albums in total. But uh, yeah, so some melodic black metal. So there's different uh, elements of music put into this as well, besides just straight up fast blistering black metal. So if you, you like some different uh, guitar melodies and some kind of groovier riffs and something other than just straight blasting and screaming, uh, throughout the entire album. Give give Reed a shot. This is their, their fourth one because it was the only one available. Uh, but uh, I'll probably get the other four albums prior to this and uh, definitely check them out. I know, like I said, not many people have talked about them and they're really, really good, so it's a shame. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the stack that I got in uh, this Armageddon uh, unboxing. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you uh, like the bands that I showed off. Let me know if you have any of these bands. Uh, let me know what your favorite Immortal album was. Uh, let me know if you've heard of Breed and if you've got any of their stuff. Um, let me know if you enjoy the post, uh, you know, black metal version of Disaster. Let me know if you like the acoustic stuff. And uh, let me know what uh, your favorite Sargeist album is. Was it the first album? Was it Tyranny Returns, the demo before that? Or was it Let the Devil In? Or maybe this is their compilation album that I can't remember the name of that I almost bought. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that actually is really good. Don't pass up on that one because it's got a bunch of splits and EP stuff that you don't normally find by Sargeist. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's pissing me off, but... It's uh, definitely on my list of things to get. Um, anywho, that's it. Uh, if you want to support this channel at all, I do have uh, Super Slam Bros shirts available for 18 bucks shipped. I do have Rectal Depravity CDs for... What, we, what are we selling them for now? $15 US shipped. And I also have Drakir demos still available. And tape or CD form, so... The, uh, the tapes are 14 US dollars shipped overseas, 12 shipped within North America, CDs are 12 overseas, and 10 shipped within North America. So hit me up if you want a copy of those, and if you want to support the channel, would be really appreciated. Uh, until then, for glory, for the rebellion, Slammer all out.